Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to give my review on DLC 2 The War Machine for Call of Duty World War 2. The DLC has been out for over a day now, and I've logged in a decent amount of hours, so I feel that I can give my honest review at this point. But before we do that, guys, just really quick, there are going to be four new weapons coming to World War 2 very, very soon here. Possibly sometime this coming week or next week. And these weapons are the Sterling, the Type 5, the Type 38, the M2 Carbine, and the ITAR Burst. So just a quick little PSA here start grinding the game start saving up your supply drops because they should be coming out very very soon Now also guys one more thing every single day from now on there's gonna be a new weapon orders for you to complete So instead of being able to earn a weapon by doing the weekly orders every week They are now daily which is very very good on sledgehammer's part and yeah I just wanted to bring you guys this little news really quick in case you didn't know uh, But on to the review so like I said guys I played a decent amount of time and I actually really like the warm machine DLC compared to resistance because if you take a look at resistance we basically got two new maps since occupation was a remake of the modern warfare map resistance the modern warfare 3 map resistance and then we also got that map back in IW last year it was called ember so in this DLC there aren't any remakes everything is just built straight from scratch and one word that comes to my mind after this whole update and the DLC launch is fresh this game feels very very refreshing to play the multiplayer maps don't really feel so similar to any map I've ever played in COD before so that's a good thing and my favorite right now would have to be Egypt I love the map flow and the layout it fits my play style perfectly my least favorite would have to be Dunkirk domination on Dunkirk is so bad because the B-Dom flag is literally right in the center of the beach and there's hardly any cover besides the boat and players can literally shoot you from across the map so you'll be dead by then before you're able to you know take anyone out so not a fan of Dunkirk the spawns also aren't that great I find myself getting spawn trapped a lot there now for v2 it's pretty fun not gonna lie the map is very very hectic because players like to rush towards the middle of the rocket if you get the chance play hard point on v2 i think you'll like it a lot so in order my favorites are egypt v2 and dunkirk still i do find the maps to be a lot better than the last dlc but that's just my opinion though and so yeah guys if you are looking for a refresher in maps then pick up the dlc but the game already feels totally different with the new division system plus the unlimited sprinting so uh, yeah, a couple maps can't really hurt too much. The war map is also pretty fun. I've only played a couple games though, but I like it a lot. And I think the dogfighting part of the game is pretty fun, honestly. I haven't touched zombies because I'm not too big of a zombies guy, but apparently someone has already finished the Easter egg. And I've seen a few people say the zombies is pretty fun, a lot better compared to the Darkest Shore. And so yeah, if you haven't picked up the DLC yet, I would maybe wait a while longer and play. And then if you really like the new updates that the game has brought, then maybe consider picking up the DLC if you're coming back to World War 2 after a few weeks or months again I highly recommend playing a bit more and see if your views change because like I said in the video already the game plays and feels totally different so to me in this update it definitely was very much needed also guys one more thing that has me concerned as I'm thinking about the points that I'm gonna talk about for the video you know we're already four months into 2018 and I feel that this game is the game we should have had on release you know paint jobs are here there's finally four men rank play parties we got a better division system the developers are being fluent with the player base so what has me concerned is maybe it's already too late for the game to bring back the players over you know a lot of players have already left cod for fortnite and other video games i don't know we'll see but it is kind of sad too because i know a lot of my friends have already moved on with other things they're already uh, set in stone with their you know occupations and other things they're doing instead of playing cod which is fine you know i'm not i'm not upset about that I just kind of wish that this big of an update would have came sooner because there was a lot of hype around this game. Actually more hype for any COD game than I can remember in recent years. But it seems like a lot of players have moved on which is you know okay like I said. But still the game is not dead at all and anyone who says otherwise is lying. The game is still very very much active. But yeah guys tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. What are your thoughts about the DLC and just your overall opinion about the game. Because it, there was a huge huge change and like I said it was for the better so guys drop a like if y'all did enjoy the video and thank you for watching till next time i'll see you later